Good morning, Eagles, and happy April. I'm your host, Samantha Benji. Start off, let's look at some scores from last week. Good morning, Eagles. Here are the sports scores from last week. Boys tennis beat Albuquerque High at 6-3, while girls beat Sandia 5-4 on Thursday. Baseball lost three games against Pietro Vista and St. Pius, and Winter Guard won their competition this weekend. Great job, Eagles. For sports events this week, tomorrow, Boys Varsity Tennis plays against Sandia at Jerry Klein at 3.30. And also tomorrow, Girls Varsity Tennis plays against Sandia at home at 3.30. Also tomorrow, we have a couple softball games. Softball plays against Pedro Vista at 4 and plays against Pedro Vista again at 6. On Wednesday, Varsity Softball plays against Albuquerque High at 3.30. For Boys and Girls Track on Friday, there are storm relays at Cleveland High and times are to be determined. To start the weekend off, Varsity Baseball plays against Sandia at 10 a.m. and again at noon. Varsity Softball plays against Sandia at 10 a.m. and again at noon. Hard work paid off for Joey Watson. Here's how he became a finalist for the National Merit Scholarship. February 8th, the National Merit Scholarship Corporation announced their finalists for the National Merit Scholarship. Of the 16,000 semifinalists, two El Dorado seniors were selected, one including Joey Watson. The scholarship, which is based on a student's performance on the PSAT, provides financial aid for students. Um, well, the National Merit uh, Scholarship is through the PSAT. So if you take the PSAT as a junior and you get a good score on it, then you get entered as a semifinalist. Um, on the PSAT, I believe my score was a 1390. Only available to juniors, the scholarship entails a lengthy process. Then you have to fill out an application through the National Merit Corporation. Um, you have to talk about your extracurriculars, some other stuff like about your academics, and then um, you also have to get um, a letter of recommendation. I don't know if I said that already, but your counselor helps you with that. Previously, El Dorado has seen students win this scholarship. Last year, Delaney Pendleton was one of five APS students to win. Although Joey hasn't finalized his decision quite yet on which college he will be attending, he has already applied to many colleges, some of which work in partnership with the National Merit Scholarship. I've applied to UNM, New Mexico Tech, Texas Tech, um, Texas A&M, UT Dallas. Getting National Merit finalists has opened a lot of doors for me, giving me a lot of opportunities to check out places that I hadn't originally considered. After being named a finalist, a student then decides their top colleges. That's, that's when you have to decide what your top choice is, and they will tell your top choice college that they are your top choice, and that's when they, you get offered money from the schools. Winners of the $2,500 scholarship will be announced May 11th. This week is Prom Spirit Week. Today is Pajama Day, tomorrow is Dress As Your Type, Wednesday is Twin Day, Thursday is Beach Party, and Friday is Generations. Prom tickets are available this week to purchase. Tickets are $25 and will be sold at lunch. Be sure to buy yours before they sell out. To wrap things up, here's the weather brought to you by Sophia Hale. Hi, welcome back to Thunder and Hail. I'm your host, Sophia Hale. Let's go look at this week's weather. Thunder and Hail with Sophia Hale. Now that spring's here, we're definitely going to see our days warming up. This week is going to be averaging at about 74 to 75 degrees. Monday, we're going to be starting out the week kind of cloudy uh, with an 18% chance of precipitation. So there might be a little bit of rain um, throughout the day. It's going to get a little bit more cloudy. I think throughout late afternoon, kind of towards evening, it'll clear up. Our lows at the beginning of this week is going to be late 40s, almost 50s, and towards the end of this week, lower 40s. Friday will be probably one of our warmest days. It's going to be 75 degrees, so make sure to kind of dress lightly. Besides that, that's pretty much all for this week. Do you have any events you think need coverage? Reach out to us on Instagram at Eldorado Talon. Thanks for watching, Eagles, and we'll see you next week.